What's up, people? Hope you like my hat here. This is my Costa Rica hat, my vacationing hat. Um, what's going on, Rising Ground Church, man? I wanted to hop in here real quick. Pastor Jamal, I think I kind of slurred that up. Let's do that again. Rising Ground Church here, Pastor Jamal at your disposal. What's happening, y'all? Hey, God can't work in chaos. So, um, I was doing some work at this apartment complex a few months ago, I think, maybe a, maybe a, about two months ago. And, um, you know, doing pest control work, because I do pest control work, you got to do, you got to go in a lot of different um, uh, maintenance offices or maintenance shops. So I was in this, I go into this maintenance shop and it's very clean. It's one of the cleanest maintenance shops I've ever been in. And I asked the guy, I said, man, hey, you, you got a, you, you got a real nice shop here, man. It's really clean. I've, I have, uh, I rarely go into clean shops. He says, so he says, hey, man, I can't work in chaos. I just can't do it. So I, 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 that made me have um, a thought about him. So today I'm sitting there doing some, some reading and I was thinking about that. So that popped up in my mind, that particular experience. And it was like, you know what? God can't work in chaos. So you have to find out what chaos are you living in that God can't get through. Well, God won't get through. God is not going to try to sift through your dirty clothes. He's not going to try to sift through your boxes, your, your, um, and all of these things just represent thought, but you get what I'm saying. So what chaotical thoughts, what chaotical experiences are you in right now that is not allowing, I'm trying to find a camera too, what I'm looking at, but that's not allowing your breakthrough to get through. You're, you're not allowing God to come through to give you your next point, to position you in your next phase. Um, it is, I mean, I can't even express how important it is to understand um, what you are attempting to live from. Now, I am very empathetic about it because we all have a, a boatload, a mountain of thoughts you know, from our experiences that are keeping God at a distance. Um, so the thing that we have to, the techniques, the technique that we have to use to clear, to clear up and to clean up some of that chaos is the method that, that God is knocking on your door and telling you, you have to do so I can get through here. I have to get through. So whether that's meditation, which is quieting your mind, is helping to quiet those thoughts down. Sometimes you do that when you go to sleep. Sometimes I know sometimes my mind is going so heavy, man. It's only when I sleep that that happens. And sometimes I'm sleeping and it's still going. So you kind of got to just weight it down at times. Or some my, my wife likes nature. She walks um, through through nature. Some people is music. Some people it's a lot of it's a lot of different me methods that. Only you're going to determine what's yours. But the the principle is you have to handle and manage the chaos so you can create a path for God to come through, to get through. So whatever you need or whatever you've been waiting on can get a little closer to you. So God does not work in chaos. Slow your thinking down. Get, get in a peaceful place. Go to sleep. Read your word. Read words that calm you down. Whether that's scripture, poetry, whether you're writing music, whatever it is, whatever can calm you down and take your focus off your thinking, that allows God the space to move closer into your experience. Hope that made sense, y'all. Rising Ground Church. See, see that hat? Talk to you. Peace.